I want to show you how the Armonino stock count import module works in Dynamics GP. It's really pretty handy because what you can do is you can create a template, use it in Excel, record the actual counts, and you can distribute the counts any way you want to, but then bring it back into Excel and then import that right into Dynamics GP. So it makes an easy way to actually do the count and then update the account records in GP. So there's a couple steps. Uh, most of these actually are in conjunction with the standard stock count entry in Dynamics GP. So the first thing you want to do is create a stock count schedule. You can use an existing one if you want or create a new. And then you save that count schedule. You're going to start the count and then create a stock count import template from the Armanito window. Complete the stock count. Fill in the spreadsheets and then import that stock count using the Armanino stock count import screen. You want to review the count in the stock count entry screen in GP and then if everything's okay then just process that stock count entry. So let's take a look at it. First thing I want to do is look at my stock count schedule. Now I can create a new one or I can use an existing one. I'm going to use an existing one. There's a schedule right here. These are all the items and all the locations that have the items that I want to count. Now I can add to this, I can change it, and like I said, I can reuse ones that I've used in the past. So I've got multiple locations here. I've got some lock control items as well. So let's see how that works. So this is okay. I'm going to go ahead and start this. I'm going to click on Start Count. Let's take a look at the exception list. We're not going to need these because we're going to use the import module from Armanino. No exceptions are found. So I've started the count. The next thing to do is create a template to actually do the count with. So I'll go to my home page here and open up Stock Count Import. This is the Armanino Stock Count Import module screen. There's really only one. Now look up that stock count that I just started. I'll select that. And then I've got an option I can create tab delimited or a comma delimited file. I can create a tab delimited file and we'll just create that template. And I'm going to save that stock count here. Now let's take a look at that result. Here's the template information as it came out of the stock count import module. Now I'm going to take a look at that in Excel. Here's my stock count worksheet. Now I can just put this on a laptop, take it out of the warehouse, do my count. I can also split it up, give it to different people to do different parts of that count, and then import it back into GP. So let's just enter a count. I'll just put some count numbers in here and we'll take a look at the results. So I've entered the results of my actual count now. I'm just going to save that, and then we'll import it back into GP using the Armanino Stock Count Import Module. We'll go back to the shortcuts, open up the Stock Count Import Module, look up the current count, and then we'll import it. There's a file right there. It's going to import that, and will give us a variance report. And then we can go back in the stock count entry screen and adjust it if we need to. I've gone through, made some adjustments, verified the variances, and now I'm going to process this. I put the date in here, and I'm going to auto-post these. Hit process, and the process is done. The Armanino stock count import module is going to help you do physical counts on your inventory to keep it more accurate on a regular basis. It allows you to use Excel to capture the actual count information and then easily import that into Dynamics GP.